what can you net? How much money can you make with pasture broilers on 20 acres in 2020 compared to Joel Salatin's 1993 number? How much money can you make? You could make a potential. Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So we're out here with our pasture broilers today and about a week ago we processed 125 of our pasture chickens uh, that we sell at local farmers markets and directly here off the farm. So what I want to do today is I want to go through those numbers. I want to talk about what our feed conversion was, what our cost of goods, cost of input was to raise those birds, and then what our potential profit is going to be uh, on that group of chickens. Also, for those of you that are interested in pasture poultry, or you're raising pasture poultry, or you just have an interest in this kind of, uh, this kind of farming, you've probably seen or you've got a copy of this book. This is Joel Salatin's Pastured Poultry Profits, and the tagline on this says net $25,000 in six months on 20 acres. This book was written in 1993. It's almost 30 years old. So I want to talk about why I think those numbers are off. Um, can you make money with pasture poultry? And if so, how much? Stick around. Let's talk about that. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about is what were our numbers on this last batch of chickens that uh, we processed. So the birds that we done, uh, they were born on July the 7th, uh, and then they were processed on September the 7th. So they were just a little over eight weeks old, almost nine weeks old. Um, we got 128 of those birds in the mail and then we processed 125, so we only lost three. Super happy with that. That's a, that's a great number to only lose three. Um, we, we managed the brooder correctly, didn't have any predator issues at all out on pasture, so we only had a 2.4% loss uh, on those birds. So super, super happy with that. Now, what was our cost to produce those birds? In other words, how much did it cost us to get those birds from day old chicks to packaged in the freezer, ready to sell. So when we calculate our cost to produce, our cost of uh, cost to input, um, we include the cost of the chicks, shipping, shavings, feed, and then labor. And our labor, we calculate that based on um, folks that come in and help us do the processing. Uh, Sandra and I right now, we still don't um, calculate any of our labor in this. Um, being in the third year, we still consider that our investment into the farm. We're almost to the point now that we do need to start adding our labor into the whole process. But anyway, enough about that. Cost to produce, $901.48, 901.48. We'll come back to that in just a minute. So when we process birds, what do we put together? In other words, what's our packaging? What, uh, what do we have for sale? Uh, and what's the price on that? On this batch of birds, we did not do any whole birds. In other words, we didn't leave any birds whole and package those in the shrink bags. Everything was cut up in one way or the other. Uh, we also did not keep out any backs. So sometimes we do keep out backs, sometimes we keep out feet. We we're going to keep out feet. That just became a tedious process, so we elected not to keep out feet this time. We elected not to keep out backs. We do wings. Uh, our wings are $7.99 a pound. We do breasts. Breasts are $10.99 a pound. We did go up on breast a little bit this time based on the USDA report and what pasture poultry is bringing in North Carolina right now. We did go up just a little bit uh, on breast. So breasts are $10.99 a pound. Leg thigh quarters, that's the leg and the thigh together, uh, $8.99 a pound. We did keep some chicken halves, cut the backbone out, uh, split it down the middle uh, so you get half chicken. Uh, we kept out some halves. $7.99 a pound, and we keep out livers. We got a lot of folks around here that really enjoy chicken livers. So, total retail on those individual things. Um, wings, uh, all the wings we have in the freezer, $313.29. Breast, $1,793.02. Leg thigh quarters, $1,379.97. Halves, $72.07. Livers, $73.74. So that's how much, that's the retail value of each of those individual cuts in the freezer. 
So how much sellable weight, how much sellable product is there in those breasts, leg, thigh, quarters, livers, wings, halves, all that stuff? What's the total sellable weight? Total sellable product weight, 377.19 pounds. 377.19 pounds. Now, how much feed did it take us to get there? That's always something that we, that we talk about and something that we think is important. It took us 950 pounds of feed, almost half a ton. It took us 950 pounds of feed to get 377.19 pounds of sellable product. That translates into a feed conversion rate of 2.52. So for every 2.52 pounds of feed that we fed those birds, we ended up with one pound of sellable product. That could have been better had we kept out backs, had we kept out feet. But for this particular batch, 2.52 pounds of feed for every pound of sellable product. Now, stop beating around a bush. What's the, uh, what's the final numbers look like? Total retail value of all of that product that we put in the freezer, $3,632.09. Let me say that again. Total retail value of all of that product that we put in the freezer, all the breasts, all the wings, all the legs, everything, $3,632.09. If you remember a minute ago, I said our cost of goods, our cost of produce, $901.48. 90148. That leaves us with a potential profit. If we sell everything full on retail and we always give some stuff away, uh, we eat some of it, so you know, we'll not realize this number completely, but if we were to sell everything full on retail, $2,730.61. That's our potential profit on 125 pasture-raised chickens. So taking that number, that 2,730 dollars um, and 61 cents. Let's use that number. Let's let's kind of play with that for just a minute. So as y'all know, we use these John Siskovich style chicken tractors, and these things measure out six feet by 12 feet. So one chicken tractor takes up 72 square feet. And we run four of them, that last batch that we had the 125 birds on with the potential profit of $2,730. We ran four Siskovich style chicken tractors. So four Siskovich style chicken tractors will cover 288 square feet per day. We had those birds out on pasture for six weeks, so they were out on pasture for 42 days. So if we take 288 square feet per day, we multiply that by 42 days, we cover 12,096 square feet per batch of pasture-raised broilers. If we divide 12,096 by 43,560, which is the square foot of an acre, we get 0.27 acres. So when we run a batch of pasture broilers, four chicken tractors across the field for six weeks, we cover Ease of figuring, a quarter acre. So if we cover a quarter acre with this group of chickens and our potential profit is $2,730 on a quarter acre in 56 days, so that's counting two weeks in a brooder, so we can make $2,730 on a quarter acre in a little under two months. Now, this is scalable. It's scalable up, it's scalable down. And that's a key point that Joel makes in his book is that this type of enterprise should be scalable. You can go up, you can go down depending on your context and what resources you have available in terms of land, the money to purchase materials to build tractors, um, and all those kinds of things. But I want to play with the numbers just a little bit just to see what we could do with pasture broilers on 20 acres in 2020 as opposed to 1993. So using those same numbers, if we were to run pasture broilers across an acre, so we would either have to use four tractors four times or 16 tractors once going across an acre, we could net 
Now, this is not gross. This is net. Remember, this is based on our, on our profit. We could net $10,920, basically, in 56 days, in two months. Now, there are a lot of variables here. Can you get those prices for chicken in your area? Do you have a market? Do you have uh, the ability to, to purchase, build the infrastructure? And enough infrastructure to do this on a large scale is either going to take a really big investment up front or you're going to have to build into it. And that's really what we're doing. We're kind of building into this. We started out first year, I think we had maybe three or four chicken tractors and we've got, we've got nine now. So we are continuing to scale up a little bit. But using those same numbers, what could you do on five acres? Well, on five acres, you could potentially net $54,600. Again, using that $2,730 profit that we're figuring on 125 birds. How about 10 acres? $109,200 net on 10 acres, pastured chicken using the numbers that we shared earlier. And finally, what can you net? How much money can you make with pasture broilers on 20 acres in 2020 compared to Joel Salatin's 1993 number? How much money can you make? You could make a potential of $218,400 net on 20 acres with pasture poultry. And again, a lot of variables involved in that in terms of what your growing season looks like. He says do it in six months. If you've got a longer grow, growing season, um, you know, potentially you could make more. If you've got a shorter growing season, potentially you could make less, depending upon how much you want to work and how many chickens you want to be operating on at a time. And again, that's only, I didn't mention this earlier, but that's only running these chickens across the property one time. That's not doubling back and, and reusing any space that you've already uh, used on chickens. So, in the end, is pasture poultry profitable? Absolutely, it's profitable. Is it scalable? Absolutely, is it, it is scalable. Um, can you make money at it? Yeah, you can make money at it, um, but it's a lot of work. Um, you know, we've talked about this uh, in circles around here, and, and I've heard other folks mention it. Um, this, this kind of living and this kind of farming is not easy, um, and I think sometimes maybe we do it a little bit, of, little bit of an injustice because we can cram a day's worth of work into a 15 or a 20 minute YouTube video. So it is tough work, but it's very enjoyable and uh, I certainly wouldn't, certainly wouldn't do anything different. So there we are, the latest numbers from Sheraton Park Farms and how we're doing on our pasture poultry. And also, uh, you know, a little bit of a discussion, lost my book, a little bit of a discussion about uh, um, you know, Joel's numbers and I think uh, where they have uh, evolved into in 2020. So, uh, listen, appreciate y'all watching. Give us a thumbs up um, on the video. Click that thumbs up button down below. Also, I'm going to post a link to a couple of other videos, some stuff we got going on over here. Um, that subscribe button is going to pop up in the center of the screen. If you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Follow along with us. Share these videos with other folks who may be interested in local farming, where their food comes from and uh, just living this kind of lifestyle. But uh, again, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.